When we receive a board from a customer or complete a product, if the customer has the need for burning, we will first ask the customer to provide relevant files. After obtaining the files, we need to check the chip model for burning and then select the applicable burner and burning software. Currently, the widely used one is the ARM emulator, which has two interface protocols, namely JTAG and SWD. However, in this current project, this burner is not applicable because the T-chip is not compatible with our burner and cannot be read. Additionally, the USB to TTL1 is also not applicable in our project. Therefore, we finally adopted a T-specific chip burner. After having the appropriate burner, we will download an application that can support the burning program of this chip on the T-official website, namely the upper computer software. The customer uses a voltage and current of 20 volts and 1 ampere, and we have completed the modulation now. Next, we can connect the burner to the board. This is a burning interface, which is also the interface designed by the customer for downloading the program. After completing the connection, we open the burning program that has been installed on our own computer, and the program will automatically recognize the original factory number of the burner. If it is not recognized, this indicates that there is a problem with the connection to our computer, or the computer does not have the driver installed, thus unable to recognize the burner. Then start directly and enter the burning interface. This interface will directly call the pre-edited program provided by the customer. Turn on the power supply to power the board and then download directly. After the burning is completed, the power supply must be disconnected first. The positive pole must be removed first, then the negative pole can be removed, and then the burning interface can be removed. Now, this board has been successfully burned. Subsequently, we will also conduct a power on test to check whether the burning is successful and also read the internal processor code, that is, the program we burned, to see if it is completely burned in. For more information, please follow Fasten Group PCBA to help you learn more. Thanks for your listening.